Hello and welcome to a University of Alberta Library tutorial. The goal of this tutorial is to show you how to find company returns using the CRISP Center for Research of Security Prices database, which we will access from WORDS, Wharton Research Data Services. In order to access this database on the University of Alberta Library's website, select the Find Databases and look up WORDS, W-R-D-S, from our list of databases. This is what you will see once you get to this database. To connect to WORDS, you must enter your ualberta.ca email address in the empty field, fill out the CAPTCHA, and click on Submit. You will then receive a link in your email to access words for the day. Click on the link in the email to log in. Once you have logged into the database, from the current subscriptions list, click on CRISP. In this example, we will look for company returns for General Electric. From the annual updates list, click on stock slash security files. Then click on monthly stock file. On the next screen, you will be presented with four steps. Step one, choose your time parameters. In this case, I will leave the dates as it is. In step two, choose ticker. And now we need to enter the CRISP company code. We will find the words code for General Electric by clicking on Code Lookup. In the empty field, type in General Electric and choose Starts With. Click on the checkboxes next to the entity name that you need. If you are unsure as to which one to choose, you can choose more than one. I'll choose them all by clicking on the box next to entity name. Next, choose your identifier, either perm no or perm co. The definitions of each can be found at www.crisp.org slash products slash documentation slash data hyphen definitions hyphen p pound Permco. I will choose Permco as my identifier in this example. Click on Add Codes to List, and you will be given a pop up window in which you will click OK. When the screen moves down, click on the Add Codes to Query button, and again a pop up window will appear. Click OK in that pop up window. Once you return to the steps, go to step three. Here you need to set your variables. In this example, we will click on company name, ticker, and holding period return. Ignore the conditional statements and head to step four. In step four, choose Excel spreadsheet as the output format and scroll all the way to the bottom and hit on submit query. When the data results summary appears, click on the link and open the download. Thank you for watching this tutorial. For questions, contact us at library.ualberta.ca slash ask us or text us at 587-409-2999.